How you going? It's uh, early in the morning and I'm picking up three young guys a day and this young guy. It's four actually. <laughs> we get, they've just arrived, eh? Yeah. yeah, you can hear them. The dogs so, letting us know. Yeah. Hey lads. Alright, I'm Vaughn. G'day mate. How old are you? 14. 14. Hey mate. This is Adventure Dan. He'll have a new nickname by the end of the day, won't he? Yeah, we will. Yeah, it'll be something. something. Yeah. So we're coming up with a whole heap of name, whole names from last night. What's that, mate? <laughs> we're coming up with a whole heap of names from last oh, yeah. night. Uh, What'd you come up with? Balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out if he's got some balls. Yeah, we will. Yeah. So the boys were sleeping in a tent last night. Do you have no sleeping bag? No, oh, no, I just had two duvet blankets. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not enough. That's too cold, bro. Hey, we'll probably throw your bags in the back. Oh, yeah. So there's room for. Smash when he comes. Thank you. See you later. Thank you so much. There you go, Smash. Look what Smash brought me back. Or oh, us back. I think I've got to share this with Dan. Oh, and a board. A good bastard's board. Good on you, mate. <laughs> That's, cool. That's very cool. Thank you. And That's thanks, okay. thanks for bringing that. What is this? This is our uh, sustenance for the day. Yeah. Not for you. <laughs> Single malt whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> I've let the dogs out of the truck now and it's an absolute sea of frozen broom everywhere. I've bug it off. It's quite cold. We'll see how we get on anyway. Got a bit of rooting around us here. Not real fresh, but not real old either. This gully looks hopeful for a pig. And I like what the wind's doing this morning too. Just a slight breeze coming down towards us. The boys are up ahead. What we're looking for, Vaughan, is this sign here. Mm. You can see where the pig's been getting stuck into the grubs. Yeah. So that's frozen. That's why I just checked it. If it had all crumbled, I'd know there's a pig in the area and I'd spend a bit more time. That's the sort of thing you're looking for all the time, is that yeah. sign. Same with the rooting. Some of it's like frozen on top. Everything's frozen this morning, but pigs will turn the frozen stuff over too, so that's what we're looking for. I come from Dunedin. I moved up here recently and, you know, I not really like hunting. Never caught a pig or just only go from possums. There'd be a pig in there, so we'll just keep our voices there. I might you know, ask and come up with them. Yeah. Well. See if we can get So yeah. who takes your hunting back home? Uh, oh, I don't have anyone to take me hunting. What about your dad? Does, does he do any hunting at all? Um, no. Okay. My dad's you know, kind of guy. I just chill out all the time. Yeah, he's in Dunedin with all my other family. Oh, yeah. Well, he's your dad still, you know? Yeah. So um, maybe he's not into that. Did mm. he take your fishing or anything? No. Okay. Oh. Never. Look at Poe, she's wandering right here, look at this, look. There's a pig around here, see that? Where's it gone, Poe? See that, mate? That's winding. There's something in the area. She's our lead dog, so we watch her. We don't take too much notice of what the pups do, but she's definitely picking up scent there. So we're going to have to get you some um, boots. Yeah. Because you've got just Nikes on. Yeah, Nike drones. Yeah, you've got my old chaps on. Yeah. When we get back to the truck, I'll have a look. I've got a whole lot of shoes that... Kim Swan gave me for people. Uh -huh. And you're a size 7, so we'll see if there's a pair that fit you. Try those on. Yeah, yeah. get us some decent footwear on. Yep. Here comes Liz. No pig. Oh, good true girl. Not too tight? No, good. Awesome, mate. That's better. His feet were freezing in there, eh? I just put the shoes in the truck, and the actual shoes are wet and frozen cold. I can always tell young guys I take out that have got brothers and sisters because guys with brothers and sisters always jump in and help their mates like Knuckles is helping you right now. Yeah. I took a boy out about oh, two years ago and owned a child and he just helped nobody because he just wasn't used to having siblings. Mm. That's the difference. <coughs> really steep up in here. The dog's all scenting. Good place for a pig. Oh, 
hose out and Liz and Bob just in here. There's an animal up here. The dogs can't find it. We just heard something break. Definitely a pig in there. But the dogs can't find it. Within that creek? Yeah. Poe's just down here, one bark, and we just heard her crying, like she's been beaten up by the pig. The other dogs aren't there yet. Right down here. Another hunter approaching. Yep. Have you got dogs up above us, have you? No, just oh, down at the bottom. Oh, there's another pig there. Good luck. Well, the status is that we've got Poe still out here. Obviously she's hit the pig and she's had a bit of a scrap with it because she was crying. Screaming. Another hunter's just come through, or two guys. They're chasing a pig above us, and there's another hunter on the ridge, they said, further up. So, typical Nelson pig hunting. Pig hunters. Everywhere. Everywhere. Filthy with pig hunters. Poe is still down there. She could still get this pig, though, because she, she's not come off it, I don't think, is she, Dan? No. No, so we'll just wait and see. But it's concerning me and Dan that uh, Bob and Liz aren't down there. Why are they not helping her out? You know, why they come off? Who knows? Maybe the wind. Don't know. Maybe they're just getting too much love down here. Too much love, that's the bloody problem. Bloody yeah, too many pets. Poor young Vaughan was getting a bit cold, weren't you, mate? Yeah. So he's got my old Tusker jacket on. You look like a right pig under now, son. Yeah. yeah poor bastard. He had cold feet. I said to him, Are you alright? He goes, Yeah, yeah. I said, You look a bit cold. He goes, Oh, I'm a wee bit cold. Freezing. Pussycat? <laughs> well, he hasn't got as much fat on him as you. I haven't got a lot of fat. No, I'm not, so, I'm not, so, I'm not saying you're fat. I just <laughs> said he hasn't, he hasn't got a lot of He's pretty skinny. It's because he doesn't eat enough. Number one rule is never take anything personal. Ever. <laughs> you something I've noticed, you always jump to the defence. Oh, he's attacking me. I'm not attacking you. I'm just saying it's a good thing to have a bit of fat. Fat is fuel to burn, you know. When you're hunting all the time, I just can't keep the fat on me. Because I'm going all the time and you need to have fat on you. Same for dogs. Dogs, their fuel is fat, you know? Yeah, I've seen some dirty, scammy hunting dogs that are Well, that's, that's the owner's fault. But you're as skinny as a gum digger's dog, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh, uh, 48. 48? Oh, that's not too bad. So you're 14? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good, right? You're probably right size, actually. Who's the fastest? How do you two? Me. You? Yeah. I boost the grass. Oh, it's tested and... I boost the grass can be. Alright, we'll test it in the booster. Alrighty? Yeah. From the I, end of the truck. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do is, no, no, save the energy you're going to need it, boys. We've got one little pig right now, but uh, we'll see. after, we'll after we've caught the pig, we'll have a wee race and I'll put a wee prize in it for you. Yeah. I'll put a $30 head torch from hunting and fishing. That'll be the prize. Yep. Hey, there's okay. a good pig, mate. Shit, there's a good bull, Mark. Walk right past, look at that. Whoa. It's a really good one. Well, we're not having a very good morning. Poe is backtracking, she's been on the pig, she had no backup from Bob or from Liz and now she's on her way back. I'm just hopeful she's not too badly injured because she was yelping, she was getting a hell of a tonging up there it sounded like. Dan there's a massive ball mark on the road eh? Is there? Yep, massive ball mark, I'll show it to you. We've got Poe back in and no holes which is good, a bit buggered. Obviously on a good pig, but no backup. Well, it's still cold, so we've got plenty of day left to keep hunting. Dan and I just want to work out where to go next. This place is uh, full of pig hunters, and we've made a lot of racket up here, so we'll bugger off. Poe, get up. Up. Good girl, Liz. Poe, up. Bit tired, mate, eh? Good boy, Bob. Poe, get up. She shattered. Poe, up. Get up, Poe. Poe, up. Tired. Good dog. Trying to get a drink for the dogs, it's all frozen. A drink, a drink, a drink. Can I get a drink, eh? Pony's a drink, give me a try. Pony drink. Okay.
pretty cold drink. Bob down Scully here. We've got the wind going the wrong way right now. So the pig probably knows we're here. Pig's come running down here, look at the size of that. Good ball mark. Straight down here. These Jews are quite narrow, but they're quite wide. Let's come down here. What are you doing, Pug? All dogs together. That's a good sign. Not picking up any scent. Yeah, there's a pig down there somewhere. Going down this ridge line here. Oh. Well, time now is 11 o'clock and we've encountered how many hunters, guys? Four. Four. Four lots of hunters up here. Nobody had a pig on the truck. Or he caught a pig. So this area is getting thrashed. Where'd he go? Go, 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 go. One of you guys go up with Dan, he's going to walk them up there. Just, just one, two stay down here. Try. You could try. <laughs> Couldn't get up. You're coming down, are you, Dan? The dogs aren't going up? No. Okay. Alright, come down, lads. Good try. Get your bush ice blocks. <laughs> I reckon we didn't catch anything today because you've been mothering the dogs too much there. <laughs> he loves the dogs. I like dogs. Young born, yeah, it's cool, man. We're just chilling out in the sun. It's midday. We've been hunting since, oh, I don't know, 6.45, I suppose. We got in the scrub and we caught nothing. We've been on two pigs. We've walked a lot of k's. The guy's a bit tired, but I've got a wee torch in my bag, a little head torch, a prize, which is going to be for the boy that's the fastest. I've said Smash can go in the race too, but he said he wants to save his legs. What are you saving your legs for, mate? Or we get a pig. I don't think we can do much more hunting today, are we, Dan? As you're going up, always look like five or six steps ahead. Don't want a boy falling down and breaking a wrist. Okay? Yep. Take your marks. Get set. Come on. Gonna be a good race. Go! Dog's doing it too. <laughs> Dig in, Vaughan. Dig in, Vaughan. Oh, you're starting to feel it, Vaughan, here. Well, they're nearly there. Gonna be a bloody close. I might have given one each, I think. We have a winner! Good job, mate! Well done! We'll do it quietly, eh? What do you say? I'm dying. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> So smash, tactics, what would have you done different? Push the other one down and run up. Ran around them probably. It's all my energy at the start. Yeah, I know, they went out too hard at the start, didn't they? Yeah. 
Should be like um, out like a lamb, finish like a lion. You know? Their legs like jelly, they can't walk. They've got lactic acid built up. Run, Vaughan! You've both won a prize. There's another prize for the first man back to the truck. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just a way to get them back quicker. Come on, Vaughan! There's a no, Vaughan! It's a special prize! Stick it in, mate! Oh. Back up, boy, back up! You okay? Yeah. Good boy, carry on. He's caught up. Come on, Vaughan, keep going, mate. Yeah, you okay, buddy? Yeah. Hurt yourself. <laughs> Putting on a brave face. Oh, good effort, Knuckles. Well done, man. You okay, buddy? Yeah. You get a stick in you? You get a stick in you? He's hurt himself. Have a race. Say that again. I didn't need a fucking torch, I just wanted a race. So did, you were going to give it to me anyway, were you? Yeah. You're a good bastard. You're a bit sore. No, I just got a bad stitch. Good effort. Did that stick poke into you? Just come on. Oh yeah, you'll be sweet. Yeah. Got a wee bit on my back. Knuckles here says he uh, wants you to have this. Oh, thanks Cree. A bit sore. Yeah, pretty sore. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put you in the Good Bastards Club, okay? There's your torch, mate. Thank you. You can thank you, mate. And uh, congratulations, I like your attitude. Good boy. Oh, you ripped your shirt. Did I? Oh, yeah, I hardly ripped it on the back now. Was it just now? No, it went yeah. through. That was just now. I'll organise you another shirt. I've got one at the back of the clubhouse, <laughs> which is my house. Yeah. I have, I'll get you another one. Good bastard Tim from our club sent you those from the UK. Yeah. So you've already got a pair of boots on. You can't obviously wear those straight away, that's why I'm giving you the after the hunt because you couldn't have worn them today. You need to yeah. walk them in. Do you know what to do? Yeah, wear them in and wear them round. Yeah. So. <laughs> those boots you can take home, mate. Those ones are for you. I'm going to give those to you. I want you to say thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. That's Kim Swan who's giving you those. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. And thank you, Tim. Oh, mate. Check those out. Oh, beautiful. Oh, serious. They're a serious. They're, look at those. They're really good boots, bro. I think they've got a steel toe cap on them, are they? They're a beautiful pair of boots. They look like a military boot, don't they? Like you look wearing the army. Oh, they're nice. Oil and fuel resistant. And fuel resistant. Oil and fuel resistant. They're pretty cool, they're an awesome sturdy boot, eh? Hell yeah. Gonna give these lads the hats, but there's only two, and there's three boys. So... I don't need one after this one. Yeah, okay, mate. Good on you, okay. Let them decide between them. That's... The, the brighter one is better for not getting shot in the head. It's basically so you're sharp in the bush when you're hunting. Thank Thanks, Kerry. Yeah, sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I just said an inappropriate joke, which we won't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure was. Don't think we're going to catch a pig along here, but it's worth a shot of the way out. We didn't catch anything, but did you have fun, mate? Yeah, I had an awesome time. Did you have an awesome time? Yep. That's good. Well, if it was awesome and we didn't catch anything, imagine how much fun it's going to be if we do catch something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we do catch something. Yeah, and we will. We normally do. It's pretty uh, rare we don't. Adventure Dan's passed out. He's well asleep. Hmm. Oh, he's awake now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, that ties up this hunt, boys and girls. Be good, and if he can't be good, then he doesn't know, does he? Um, happy. <laughs> if he can't be good, be happy. Oh, so that's a good thing, mate, yeah. Or be careful. Yeah. She's scenting. Yeah, no, she's scenting. Oh shit, she's heard something. So Jake's hoofing it back to the truck to get an extra dog. He's got two more pigs on the hill coming up towards us. And he's flying. Oh, 
that's awesome for those boys. That looks like the ghost might have changed you a bit, boy. Stick it out there. So you got breaking on your balls and a bum full of gorse. Yeah. Good shit. Okay, come down. I'll show you how to how to clean that. <laughs>